Thank you, Chairman. Um, I was just wondering, do you see this uh, piece of legislation um, as um, an, an opportunity to strengthen the role of the local sports um, partnerships? Um, because um, I sometimes feel that the local sports partnerships, maybe on the ground, are just seen as um, when we get around the table with all the token you know, the stakeholders that the sports partnership are just seen as somebody that you probably pay lip service to. The reason why I'm, I'm really concerned about this is because they actually do social inclusion very, very well. And I would like to see their role strengthened in this piece of legislation because they are actually on the coal face. face. And uh, we can have all these lovely stadiums and everything like that, but not everybody gets to participate with the greatest of respect in all of these um, is actually they tend to be for a lot of winners rather than participants. Um, just to tease out, and in some way, uh, Kieran Mulvey touched on this as well, and this is the situation with schools. There are schools that have extremely and amazing facilities in some cases that again can be quite either bordering on elitist or um, at least um, social inclusion may not be coming in because the gate closes at four o'clock. And yet we're all as TDs being lobbied constantly. We want this put in, we want that put in. But in some cases there's a cluster of schools where there are the most amazing facilities in perhaps a five kilometre radius. And for, to be putting in a facility, or even half a facility, into each of them, instead of coming together to look at um, what can be commonly used, I think would certainly make good economic sense. So I really think you need to engage with the Department of Education about that, because schools can be clustered, and if they are clustered, they can be clustered around what sports facilities they need. About the betting tax, and I won't go into the, the, the gambling area of it, um, and as you mentioned, the greyhound and the horse um, racing industry, and in some cases, it's a very, both very glam industries and tend to make um, you know, quite a bit of money. Um, <clears throat> what is your opinion on the whole role of um, welfare, and should a percentage of that betting tax